Welcome to day two of the five day Pilates for Runners Core Strength Challenge. Today we're going to focus on the prone position and I'm going to show you ways how to build up your core strength, focusing on pelvic stability, which is really important for runners. Hi, I'm Louise from the Pilates for Runners membership at Studio 44 Pilates. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are new here, you need to go back and do day one of the Pilates for Runners Core Strength Challenge. During this challenge, I'm going to focus on core strength, which is going to help you get stronger and run longer. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below how you get on with this video. So let's get going. We need to get ourselves on our full board. So we need to be our knees underneath our hips, our hands underneath our shoulders. And make sure that they are directly underneath. We then need to find our neutral position, so you want to check that our breastbone and our pubic bone are in line. We're keeping our back still, we're engaging our centre. So from here we're just going to take it, we're just going to do a little warm up and take it into a um, pelvic tilt. So tuck the tailbone under, engage that centre and come back. So it's a really small movement. Again, I just want to get ourselves moving, get our body ready for the exercises we're about to do. So just do two more of these, keep the armpits lowered, and then I want you to take it into a cat stretch. So we're going to tap the tailbone right under, draw the pubic bone towards our forehead, and really try and get into that lower back. Lengthen through that tailbone all the way through to the top of the head. And again, tuck under, breathing out as you do so, drawing that forehead towards the pubic bone, and lengthening through that spine all the way. Good. And again. Lovely, well done. Hopefully that feels quite nice. Then from there, I'm just going to take one leg out to the, the, the side, or I'm sorry, out to the back, pushing that heel towards the floor. So I'm just giving that leg a nice stretch through. Still engaging my centre quite slightly. And then I'm going to change and do the other leg. Good. Okay. Right, we're going to go straight into it. So depending on your level, make sure that you work at your level and don't try to do too much too soon. Build it up slowly because you'll get better results. So we're going to head into the press up. So you've got your box variation, which could be like this, or you've got your three quarters variation. So we come onto the fleshy part of the knees. We've got our hands slightly wider than our shoulders and we're lengthening through our spine. You need to engage that center and squeeze those glutes. Your, hip, your hips and your body sort of stay still and you're just going to move the arms. So you're going to breathe in and breathe out as you do so. So this is really important that you focus on the movement of the arms doing your press up and don't do it too quickly. Let's work. Breathing in, breathing out. So all the time we've got to work that core as we're doing it and keep our body nice and still and straight. So you can carry on at this level. Or if you want to come into a full press up, I'd like you to slide one leg away, squeezing the glutes, pulling out through the centre, and then change. Now don't lift that bottom up in the air, and don't let this happen either, which happens a lot when people do um, their full planks. So we're going to engage that centre, lengthen, you don't need to look down at your feet, you're breathing in, breathing out as you do it. So keep nice and strong, it's very easy to just let your body collapse as you do this. Let's do two more, and last one. Brilliant. Come back from here, knees down, take it into a child's pose. So we're just going to lengthen and stretch. Now, with press-ups, build them up. We're aiming for 10. Ultimately, you want to aim to increase that, not all in one go, but just so that you can get those arms nice and strong, really important for running as well. But ultimately, we're getting that core stronger as well. Good. Okay, from here, we're going to take it into an exercise called swimming. Now this needs you to work this centre. It's very easy to cheat at some of these exercises, but if we're trying to improve our core strength for, for running, then we need to, to work on it. So make sure the knees are underneath the hips, the hands are underneath the shoulders. Lower those armpits and lengthen through the spine. Don't let that head drop. We need to be neutral. So our bottom's not sticking out, we're not curved. We're just going to lengthen. And we need to engage that core, drawing that tummy belt into the spine. So from here, I want you to lengthen one arm along the ground and lengthen the opposite leg. 
The tendency here is to want to tilt over to one side. We want to keep our pelvis square to the floor. So I need to engage as I lift up through the glutes and through the shoulder and back down. Come back in. Again, I don't want to be rocking from side to side. So I'm focusing on my pelvic stability as I do this. And to do that, I need a strong core. Coming up. Now the more us runners keep our pelvis nice and stable, the, the less rotation we get as we run. Breathing in to lift, breathe out to lower. Good, so I'm doing it nice and slowly and controlled on purpose. Sliding away and come up. Now don't forget the slide away because that's really important to keep yourself in control and keep that pelvis steady. You need to concentrate as you do this. Breathing in, breathing out, lovely. So the more movement we have in our pelvis and our body as we run, the, the more fatigued we get. So we want to reduce that so that we can get running for longer. Again, let's do one more each side. So here, taking it up. And hopefully my back's not moving too much when I lift that leg. So I'm really focusing on using my glute to do so. Brilliant. And there. Excellent. Good. So have a play with that one, but really focus on engaging that centre and working. We're going to take that down, have another quick stretch. I'm going to show you one more exercise that we will build on later in the week, but you will, if you're not sure if you're using your core properly, you will in this one. So we're going to stay on all fours, we're going to tuck our toes under, we're going to lengthen through that spine, lower those armpits, keep the back of the neck nice and long. Again, you need to look at where your, your, what your legs are doing. Hold it here and engage that centre. So you're either going to be drawing your pubic bone to your belly button or drawing your belly button to your spine. And from here, I want you to just lift your knees off the floor. Now, you probably can't see that I'm doing that, but I've come off about an inch. I'm holding it here, I'm breathing. It's really important that you keep the breath going. I'm not using my back. Okay, I'm engaging through my centre. I'm going to count to five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now I hope that you felt that here and you can feel that working. If you feel it in your back, come out of it and work, try and get into the right position. So check your breastbone and pubic bones in line as you do that. If you're not sure about that, head back to the beginners to get the neutral setup sorted. Let's do that again. So, the, the, the um, problems here sometimes is that you lift too high, so you're not going to be using your core as much. I want you to literally just hover off the ground a touch, holding it here, engaging through that centre, holding it for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant. Good, let's do it again. So it's really engaging that core, really working it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant. From here, take it into a cat stretch, just to take any tension you might have out of the back and come out of it and do that two more times. Breathing out, drawing that pubic bone towards that forehead. And one more. Brilliant. I hope you felt that and I hope that you can start to see how working your core is going to help strengthen. So do these exercises again regularly throughout this week and throughout going forward as well. Come back to them and work on them. The better you get your technique, the better you engage that core will help you in the exercises that we're going to work on throughout the rest of the week. Do let me know in the comments below how it felt or if you have any questions and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and I will see you on the back.